Alrighty. You take two. <coughs> me, 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 me. Hello. I am back again. It's Toby with Toby's Tastings, is what we've decided on. Um, Friday, on episode one, we left off with a uh, leaky barrel that I'd gotten for Christmas, and I said I was going to drink some whiskey and order a new barrel. So, I'm not going to drag on. I have done that, and I think it has come in the mail. Either that, or, uh, or it's a bunch of dildos or something. I don't know. But it's got glass in there, so I think maybe I was a little sauced and uh, bought something a little extra. I bought it from Redhead Barrels. They're in Garland, Texas, so I ordered it Friday late night. Got it today, Wednesday, so pretty good turnaround. Uh, some really cool, not cool, but pretty quirky email to say that they shipped it. Um, a lot of fun stuff like that. So without further ado, do uh, play the theme music. stop wobbling there um not sure if this is a good angle or not but this is what we're gonna do so here we have it hopefully you don't shake too much on that camera stand i got it's pretty nice um but yeah so redhead barrels let's not waste your time let's get right to it yeah so All right, what do we have? We have a shipping label with my address. I'm not gonna show you, um, but it basically there's some parts that say, you know, thanks so much for blah, blah, blah. You know, I ship products back, read the full instructions, blah, 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 blah. So. Bunch of packing peanuts. Did not expect a bunch of packing peanuts. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, this is a nice little surprise. Um, so they've got redhead barrels here. Um, and inside here, uh, it's got their website, redheadbarrels.com. And I'm not, I can tell you right now, I'm not sponsored by redhead barrels. Uh, if this doesn't work. I'll let you know. Uh, plus, you know, my the three viewers plus my mom, like they really get a lot by sponsoring or sending me this. But um, yeah, it's got recipe and tips ideas and all this stuff on their website. And it's nice. This is kind of personalized. Um, there's a shot glass in here, which is cool. And then something else. I don't know. I guess this was the glass part of it. So let's take this out. Um, here's the step-by-step -step instructions. It's laminated. Very nice. I like that. So we're gonna set this to the side real quick. I'm curious as to what what this is. Ah, where's the camera? I bet you this is barrel wax. So what barrel wax is? Oh, this is okay. I bought. I I know now what I bought. This is the care kit um this is going to be oxy sand oxy sand i don't know if you can see that but what you do with this is you dissolve this in water uh and i guess this is for rinsing it out there's campton tabs which are used if i store it with water i believe and citric acid so i think all of these are for storing um for storing the barrel and then there's also instructions on use barrel wax to seal small leaks from crevices and oak barrel uh the citric acid is a great cleaner oxy sand great sanitizer for oak barrel so it's liquor uh, Camden tablets used for storing okay so that's cool so they sent all i think i do believe i bought if I look at my invoice, I think I might have bought the care kit 
Um, uh, yeah, I added the cleaning care kit. So that's cool that they added all that. Nice. Um, oh, it even comes with a... So here's a shot glass. So that's nice. It's got their logo. Always like a free shot glass. Um, and then it comes with a paper funnel, which I don't really need. And then here's the spigot. And here's here's the bung. A little concerned about the quality on this bung. Um, that what that that's a little concerning, but we'll see how it does. So my other one seemed my the one that doesn't the barrel that leaks from Freedom Oaks, the bung was a little better quality, I thought. But okay, so let's get this stand out. If we can, it's about about what I expected the quality on the sand, about the same as Freedom Oak barrels. Um, a little bit different design. Maybe I'll get those barrels out and put them side by side eventually. Let's get all this stuff out of the way. Hurry this up because if you are watching this, you're probably bored. And here comes the good stuff. Okay. And we'll see if there's anything else in there. Okay. So here's the barrel. All right. Maybe I don't won't cut myself. I don't know. We'll see. Very nice looking so far. Okay. So, um, they've got tape on the spigot hole, um, which is, you can see, oh, that wasn't in frame. we got tape on the spigot hole, tape on the bung hole, <laughs> bung hole. Watch me struggle with this for a little bit. Now. One thing that I'm gonna have to do, you can see when I took this off, on the bottom of this tape, there's like wood chips and stuff. That's because I'm gonna have to rinse this out. That's one of the steps of the um, cleaning this and getting it ready to soak. But overall, um, the barrel looks, looks good. There's a hair. The rings look good. I mean, sometimes the rings can be loose, but there is a pencil mark on the side. I guess I'll have to get an eraser or just leave it. Maybe that's there's the signature mark. But everything looks looks good. I mean, you really don't know until you start to uh, get into it. So I think what we're going to do, and obviously we didn't get the engraving um, on it like we did the last one. But it looks like a good barrel. So um, the first step says to rinse your barrel out three or four times, get any loose chard. Wood and debris out, don't worry if all doesn't come out. We'll do that by putting water in here and then covering the holes and just giving her a good shake a few times. Um, I'm not sure about that. Um, and then it says insert the spigot on the front, which is there. And tap with a hammer to securely firm it. That's interesting. Uh, fill the barrel with full with hot water and insert the bung in the bung hole. Keep it full until any leaks cease. All barrels leak when you first fill them. This may take as little as an hour or as long as a week. Larger barrels can take longer. Do not let any barrel dry it out. Age your liquor. So what we're going to do... What we're going to end up doing is coming back... I'm going to clean up, I'm going to get it washed out, and then we will come back when we're putting the water in. So, um, until then. Okay, real quick, I wanted to show you something I just noticed on this barrel. Now, I haven't washed it out, but I wanted to see if you could see this. Uh, focus, camera. See, out here on this ring, 
it's not black. But right here, it's black. That's part of these slats on the inside. It's charred, and some of that char went outside the head. It's not a big deal. It's just I just wanted to show you that this these whole slats are going to look charred like that on the inside, and that's part of what gives these some flavor. So okay, now seriously. What I have done so far, oh, see, leaking a little bit. I have taken this barrel and I have filled it with water, gave it a good shake, rinsed it out. Some wood chips did fall out, no big deal. The next step it tells me to do on our handy dandy card, it says to insert the spigot in the front of the barrel and tap with a hammer to firmly secure it in place. So this makes me a little nervous because I don't want to split this part up here is called the head and I don't want to split the head the last barrel from uh, Freedom Barrels it told me to um, it said to push it in with your hand and not use a hammer but this is telling me to use the hammer on the spigot here's the spigot um, yeah so what we're gonna do is when you're doing this you want to make sure you align it with the bung bung hole <laughs> pointed up so i'm looking for a pretty straight alignment and it's a little bit off that's okay and then it won't go all the way down but it's tape supposed to be tapered so wish me luck So that feels pretty secure. Um, I don't see any cracks in the barrel. So now what we can do is we can fill it full of water and let it soak. Now, when they said to do this, they said to fill it with hot water. For I actually went over and watched the video because the one thing that I'm concerned about is this bung. And it says to insert it at a, I'm, I'm a little concerned about that little piece right there, but it says to insert it at a 45 degree angle and a twist to preserve the bung. So I guess like that. Um, but I'm not going to do it a lot because this bung kind of looks like it's already wanting to fall apart a little bit. So I'm going to wait until I'm ready to put some hot water in it. Um. And then it says to let it soak with hot water like this, which is different. The last pair I got said to do it like this, to let it soak sitting like this. This one's telling me to do it straight up and down. So that's what we're going to do. Hot water first, and then as we fill it up, we're going to uh, put cold water, tap, lukewarm tap water in it. So when, you, when we come back, we will be inserting the bung and filling it with water. Bung. So, I've got some hot water in this beautiful ornate lemonade tea jug. I've got a towel for my spillage of the juice, the liquids, the juices, um, and I've got a funnel. They did provide a um, paper funnel, but I have a funnel that's not, you know, whatever. So, I feel like it's going to be a little more secure. I didn't boil the water. They said you didn't need to boil. Some, hold on, I got a mess. I'm gonna clean this mess up. Goodness gracious. All right. Yeah, they said they didn't need to boil it. So um, I'm gonna keep an eye on this spigot. I'm a little nervous about it, but we'll see how it goes. So um, I don't think I'm missing anything yet. Uh, and we're just gonna fill it all the way up. And my cup doesn't fit. Son of a gun. All right. This is why you always test. Okay. So, I'm back. 
I have a one cup measuring cup. Pretty sure that'll fit. So uh, we are going to do this thing right meow. I feel like that aren't, this is not working out. This is not. Hmm. I just want to say I'm doing this for YouTube. If I was not doing this with some stupid cup, I would just have it by the damn sink already. Christ almighty. Now I've ruined the shot. You see the dirty laundry hanging on the chair. Fuck. I'm going to be a man. Do it the way a man does it. Hot water. Barrel. All right. Oh, 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 my spigot's open. Whoops. All right. First leak, first leak is plugged. Let us continue. Now what I'm doing, you can't really see, is I pulled the funnel up a little bit so it's not sealed so the water gets down there a little bit better. If it's all the way sealed, the water doesn't get in as well. Should be getting close. Let me just take a peek here. Yeah, we got a little more. Yeah, this was way easier than uh, trying to do it cut by cup. And I'm sure this is riveting. Thanks for a riveting YouTube video. Oh, there we go. There we go. A little bit of spillage. A little bit of spillage. Oh, a little spillage. One thing they do suggest is that if your barrel gets wet, to dry it off. Um, so yeah, so what we're going to do is we're going to do the bung, bung hole. I'm going to get it dried off and then I'm going to, we're going to look for some leaks just so you can see what it looks like. So they said on the bung hole to stick it in at a 45 and twist. Oh, see, no, that's not going to work. See, I did that and this separated off. Because the, the bung hole was the bung. Okay. So I'm going to do, I'm just going to 40, 45 degree. Man. And then twist it on there. And that's just super disappointing. Dad gum. So it looks like I will be messaging um, redhead barrels to get a bung replacement i have water in here and um i will be publishing this video i guess as is and maybe i'll see if the bung from my other barrel fits for now um and then hopefully they will send me a new bung i am just <laughs> Now you'll see that we do have a resurgence of our old friend, the Freedom Oaks Barrel. And what I decided to do with this bad boy is I am going to try to see if I can't get it to seal up again. It's been five days without water. I don't think that's too long for it to dry out. I'm going to try to get it to seal up and um, I'm going to do it the way that this, the uh, redhead barrels once it's done so we'll see how that goes now you will see on the redhead barrels that i did get the bung in the bung hole uh i just feel like it tore up too much so i am going to send this video to them and have them take a look and see and and tell me what i did wrong uh yeah so overall this is what the redhead barrel looks like 
This is Freedom Oak Barrels. Um, I can tell you from initially from the Redhead, I'm, I, you know, as soon as I get this bunghole problem figured out, I'm going to be perfectly happy with this barrel. I can already tell. There's a couple of leaks on it, um, but, you know, hopefully the spigot's not leaking. I'll take a look at that. That's not riveting YouTube to for me to be staring at that and seeing if water's coming out. But around the spigot, I was worried about the hammer in. It is sealed. There's no water coming out. Around the head, around all the rings, this puppy, I think I'm going to be really happy with it. So the plan now is to contact them about that bung and... Uh, leave this with water in it. Oh, since I did put water in it, I used one of the cadmium tabs that uh, Redhead provided to put in here since I have water back in it. That is going to help me prevent mold as I try to reseal this. And then maybe I'll use some of the wax that was provided by, once again, Redhead barrels to see if I can't seal this one up and actually have a barrel that works. So I'm pretty excited that Maybe, um, you know, I've given up on this and I'm coming back around and I'm going to see if I can get it to work. But if not, I can tell this redhead barrel is going to be solid. So, um, I suppose the next thing I will do is I'm going to let it, the redhead barrel sit with water in it for about a week and see if there's any leaks. And if there's leaks, I'll contact redhead, but I'm going to go ahead and post this video and, uh, and get on the phone horn with them and let you know what I can find out about that bung that, that shredded on me early on. Because I know it's not going to last. So, uh, thanks for watching. If you liked it, give me a like and a subscribe. Don't forget to tell your friend. Nah, fuck off. I don't care. This is mainly for me. If you liked it, cool. If not, go watch Just Justin Bieber. Bye.